unfortunately much of mm. the country on the storm watch this morning but here at home we just may be watching for some showers if you're down in the keys yes yeah, so the keys have dealt with uh, quite the rain overnight into early morning hours but starting off with the real-time doppler carly things are shaping up to be drier uh, at this hour and going forward i do expect uh, more sunshine to break through the cloud cover in the lower key so here's a close-up see the showers yeah have ended so that's good news uh, however it's still very warm and very humid and so we could still get a few more showers developing after some daytime heating later on today not going to rule them out completely but for the most part we could still enjoy the outdoors just drink plenty of water temperatures already getting into those lower 80s Miami you're still at 79 you're not far from 80 degrees but it boy does it feel like the 80s already out there winds uh, picking up speed Key West it's breezy at 18 miles per hour straight out of the south more out of the southeast uh, from the upper keys up through Broward and it is breezy along the shoreline especially uh, up in Broward Pompano Beach uh, wind speed right now 16 miles per hour uh, so it will be breezy the closer you are to the coast warm and humid no doubt about that uh, the temperatures reaching 88 degrees for the high today now here's a view live right now in Lardale by the sea the Windjammer resort camera it does look gorgeous but notice the surf uh, kicking up a little bit so the waters uh, the surf is becoming choppy for today and also high risk of rip currents in effect for today as well so beachgoers be careful uh, and also of course use that sunscreen very warm conditions uh, right along the coast even warmer inland now small craft operators exercise with caution it is becoming breezy over the water 20 knot wind speed seas though two to three feet and now here's that system that's been causing the severe weather in fact right now there are severe storms uh, moving into Georgia and southern Alabama with what looks like there that red box you see that is actually a tornado warning. So now the severe threat is marching on eastward and it will spark now for parts of the northeast down into the mid Atlantic, even down into Tallahassee as well with that slight risk of severe storms. Meanwhile, back here at home, we don't expect anything severe, just the possible showers today. Definitely tomorrow with this front moving through, not a complete washout, but showers should develop late morning into the early afternoon hours. And then behind the front on Tuesday, not as warm, not as humid. So how warm will it get tomorrow? Uh, upper 80s, close to 90 degrees before the front passes. We're waking up very warm once again too for our Monday. Take the rain gear with you. We'll get those showers coming through and then dry weather returns for your Tuesday.